Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Leith. Okay, so I figured out what we're supposed to do. Gotta pull this, run like hell. And go, 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 go. Swim. Swim like your life depends on it, cause it do. Go, 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 don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. There we go. So that's how you do that puzzle. And there was also some stuff. Uh, and that was here, I forgot what it's called, but the tincture or the liquid or whatever you want to call it was also there. So you can like go through and grab that real quick because they let you grab stuff underwater. Fun fact, so you can grab it and then like go. But there's a lever. I think we're supposed to pull it. I hope. I hope we're supposed to pull it. Okay, go up. Why are you not going up? Go mm. up before you start losing health. So what'd that do? Did that... That may just open the door again so you can get back through. Because there was a third wheel there, so I have a feeling we're going to need it. Which, that's going to be a bitch if we have to, like, go back. I don't think we can go that way. Um, it's going to be a bitch if we have to go back and get that. And go through all that on top of bringing the wheel with us. Okay, I should have guessed as much. Uh, no go? No go. What is down there? Out of curiosity, what is down there? Uh, you know what, I don't want to take, I don't want to take that chance. Don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk my itty bitty biscuit getting hurt. Um, I don't know why I just called him a biscuit. There we go. I don't know. It rhymed with risk it. Oh, sweet Odin. What are you doing in here? I don't know, do I want to use that save though? Like, do I really? Oh, it has blood near it. No, I don't want to use that save. But if I don't use it, yeah, fine, we'll use it. Because I don't want to go through all that again. I have to go through all that again if I don't save, so... There's nothing this way, right? Because I have a feeling we're going to drop down to where I was looking at before. There's nothing in here. There's no notes or anything. Because we're about to go on a one-way trip to uh, Nopeville. Oh. Or we could use the ladder like civilized human beings. There we go. Nothing. This is a cool little spot, though. I like it. I like this little spot. Okay. Really anything upstairs is interesting to me, since we don't have an upstairs. I always remember, like, when I was a kid, I was always- I, I just thought it was really cool. Ooh, I see that. I always thought it was really cool when people had an upstairs. I'm like, you have an upstairs? Whoa! And, like, only one of my friends had an upstairs area. And I remember, like, every time I went over to her house, We'd have to hang out upstairs and she'd be like, do we really have to do this? I'm like, yes. Also, I just noticed that those like wine flask things, which obviously aren't wine, um, apparently those also refill your blue meter. Little fun fact that I'm sure everyone knows, but I figured probably, probably be better to state the obvious than not stated and have it go unnoticed. So, one-way trip, yeah? Yeah. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. There we go. Oh, this is just a whole new level of nope. There's glowy stuff. Is it good glowy stuff or bad glowy stuff? 
I mean, admittedly, none of the glowy stuff in this game has been bad yet, per se. But... I'd rather not risk it. This liquid, which now emanates with a warm amber glow, has undergone additional refinement, refinement, sorry, with electrical flux and is starting to show some remarkable characteristics. So far, I've been able to apply this catalyst to the machines that are almost running up dry, elevating the pressure to unexpected levels, greatly increasing their power output. This catalyst will prove to be most useful to further my research. You are really into your research, you know that? Like, I know, I get it, you're like, not you. You're a scientist, and you're interested in the stuff and things that you want to know about. But, uh, you seem slightly obsessed with it. Again, not necessarily bad, but just with the overall vibe that I get from you. I, I think it's bad, in your case. In Dr. Nope. In Dr. Nope's case, seems like a bad thing he's so obsessed with it. Let me just see what is over here. Apparently people who are ready to reenact a Hamlet play. Do I need to mess with you? No. Do I need to mess with any of you? No. Why did I come in here? Good question. Anyways, instead of giving an answer, let's just go. I keep forgetting which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't for the mushrooms. I uh, think uh, it's just the green ones, right? The blue ones are fine. Uh, this way. Nope. My instincts are yet again wrong. Oh, dude! Dude, we could have a lever-pulling party in there, though! Come on, I want in there! I still want in there! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Never mind, Odin's in there. Never mind. I don't want a lever-pulling party with Odin. I just want to pull levers. Pull all the levers, baby. Always say yes, don't say maybe. To pulling levers. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. What do you do? What is... What does that do? What does pulling that lever do? I hear it activating something. Come on, they're glowy! I want to pull them! How do I get in there? I knew it. My brain can think of stuff and things. Okay. Shit. There we go. Now? Now we do a thing? Now we do a thing! Yay! I'm so excited. Even though Odin's here, Odin cannot bring down my mood. I'm not gonna let Odin here harsh my vibes. Because I am extremely stoked that I get to pull all of these levers. I'm getting more and more or less stoked, though. Because there's, there's stuff on the ground that does not look like good stuff. It looks like bad stuff. So let's be smart. Rather than opening and pulling all the levers, just willy-nilly, let's, let's actually look and see before we open. Just like how you shouldn't, you know, cross the road without looking both ways first, you should never open a door without looking inside to see what is there first. 
If you can see through. If not, knock. Which, admittedly, sometimes you shouldn't knock. Sometimes you should probably just leave it alone. But, I mean... Yep, that's one we're going to leave alone. That is one that is being left completely and utterly alone. Cool. Odin, you have anything to say on the subject? You going to do your weird blue aura all around me? My body is not ready anyway, so don't do it. Is there anything I need in there? I don't think so. I'm just like, I know this game is not a zombie game, but for some reason I just get the super strong vibes that the, the game would not be opposed to some zombie filled madness in the form of zombies or in the form of the cranberry song zombies, but either way I'd prefer they stay away from it. So I'd rather not uh, give it the give it the opportunity to let zombies walk in. Basically, I get the feels that there may be zombies. But I get that feeling with every game, because li like, literally everything is filled with zombies lately. And it was cool for a while, with like, the walking dead and stuff. But then it kind of overstayed its welcome, and now I just want the zombie stuff to be over. It's not cool anymore. It's super annoying. In case you guys can't tell, I'm really over zombies. <laughs> Let someone else have the spotlight. I don't know though. I don't know what else could have the spotlight. I mean, it's been a while since werewolves. Actually, no, never mind. Twilight ruined werewolves too. That's right. Damn it. Um. I don't know. If you guys can think of something, let me know in the comments. Because all I can think of is like vampires, werewolves, zombies, and mummies. And that, too, in my opinion, was ruined by a certain film series having to do with mummies. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, like, blabbing right now. Because I feel like there's something in here that we need. But then again, maybe not. It just, it, I, I always hate when games do that. No, 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 no. I really hate it when games do that, too. No, 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 no. Oh, that was you. Okay, that was you. I'm okay with that. Oh, jeez. But, like, I don't mind when uh, games, like, let you explore and let you see all of your surroundings. But, like, sometimes stuff like this where it's, like, it feels like the game purposefully wants you to go this way because there's something over here you need. And then you get over here and you're like, why did I do that? Like, little things like that sometimes drive me insane. Which, again, is not a bad thing. It's just me being a patoot. Being a picky little petunia. But, I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes you, you just see the you, what you think is, like, the indication to do something. And you feel like you should follow that indication. And sometimes your indication is right. And sometimes you don't want to figure out if your indication is right, so you just back away from that indication and get the hell out of there. And, uh, the other thing you can do is maybe leave an episode here. I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll, uh, explore more stuff and things, follow more indications, and probably get a few scares in too. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!